Well, that was just unwatchable. <laughs> What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Phillies at Still Minions here, Cap and Last Night's Game to the Fifth of Phillies and the San Francisco Giants as the Phillies lose 13 to 1 to the Giants as they drop the first game of this three game series. Uh, after having a blowout victory in Arizona, the Phillies team is certainly allowing a lot of runs on this road trip. And I guess before we get into this video, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please turn the bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and let's get into this. I mean, Kyle Gibson was an absolute disaster last night. Uh, allowing seven earned in just one and two thirds innings. I mean, I just—he's just—he's so hit or miss. Like, there's no in between with this guy. There's no gray with uh, Kyle Gibson. He's either great or he's not. So I was—I was very, very disappointed with uh, the start we saw out of Kyle Gibson last night. And this offense not doing their job. I mean, five hits to so just one run. Uh, I, I'm just so tired of losing like this. I'm just so tired of losing like this. The second game in the Arizona series, we absolutely destroyed, uh, blowing the seven nothing lead in the first game. Uh, so this has just been, a, you know, honestly, just a very frustrating road trip. And I think we knew going in this was not going to be easy. This is a Phillies team that does not play well on the Rose Coast and especially does not play well uh, at Oracle Park in San Francisco. And unfortunately, the San Diego Padres winning last night is there now a half a game above us uh, in the second uh, spot in National League Wild Card. We are now the final seed. Uh, so, uh, you know, hopefully we're not witnessing a September collapse like we've seen in last year, 2020, 2019, 2018. Uh, this year after year of all these September collapses. So hopefully we don't get to witness one again this year. Uh, I still don't think we will, but this is a very, very abysmal display of Phillies baseball. I mean, I I'm really concerned about the stamina of this rotation. Aaron Nola, he's looked shaky recently. Like we were supposed to come back pretty soon, but now uh, he thinks he needs more rest. Uh, and uh, Kyle Gibson, I mean, just absolutely... Uh, not being there last night at all. As we pick up the long scoring summary here in the bottom of the first inning, Jock Peterson singles on a little fly ball to left field. Mike Yuskipski comes around to score as it's down one nothing San Francisco. So Jock Peterson, a guy that has been one of the most underrated players in the game here in 2022. I mean, a guy that I'm a huge fan of and uh, it's just very disappointing. No, no one really ever talks about this guy. He had a 5 RBI night last night. Uh, and so far this year, he's been able to post an 871 OPS, hit 21 tanks, uh, along with 58 RBIs. Uh, definitely cooled off. I mean, definitely had a much stronger first half than he did a second half, but uh, certainly an underrated player. Let me pick it up here in the same inning. Brandon Crawford singles on a line drive to right field. Wilmer Flores comes around to score. And it's now 2 nothing Giants. Uh, so uh, this is a Giants team that uh, won the NL West last season. 2022 has certainly not been as kind to this team, and I got to feel like that was just a fluke. I, I, I really did. I even said it when it was happening. I said, uh, I'm not really sure how long this is going to last, and sure enough, they fell up the next year. When they're below 500 record, they're not going to be seeing the playoffs this year, most likely. I, I'd be very surprised. It's definitely a long shot for them, uh, for Gabe Kapler and the San Francisco Giants. So uh, they now lead it 2 to nothing. Let me pick it up, Yuri, in the same inning. Evan Longoria doubles on a ground ball to left field. Jack Peterson comes around to score. As it's now 3 nothing San Francisco. So Longoria with his 11th double this season off of Kyle Gibson. And he would throw a wild pitch as Brandon Crawford comes around to score. It's now 4 nothing. Nothing, Sam Fran. Uh, so uh, it just, it's just pathetic. I mean, a 40 pitch first inning uh, with allowing four earned. Uh, and uh, he, he, he deserved all of this. I mean, he brought this all on himself. Now we pick it up here in the bottom of the second inning. Jock Peterson does it again as he homers on a fly ball to right field. Uh, a three run shot us to scores the old friend Andrew Knapp and Wilmer Flores as it's now 7 0 Giants. Uh, so that was Peterson's 21st of the season. Uh, so, I mean, a commanding 7 nothing lead off of Kyle Gibson. I mean, I, I'm just so tired of this guy. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't a huge fan when we acquired him uh, at the uh, trade deadline in 2021. Uh, and he's just so inconsistent. He is so inconsistent. It drives me crazy. He can either have this great start or he can have this absolutely dreadful start. Uh, so he's just, he's so hit or miss. Let me pick it up here in the bottom of the third inning. Old friend Andrew Knapp hits a sacrifice wide to center field. Uh, Estrada comes around to score. It's just now 8 nothing Giants. Uh, so Andrew Knapp, of course, was a member of the Pittsburgh Pirates earlier this year and got DFA'd. I mean, he got DFA'd by the Pirates. That's really saying something. When you get DFA'd by one of the worst teams in baseball, you must be really doing something wrong. Uh, so he was DFA'd by the Pirates. Uh, and then the Giants, uh, for whatever reason, did pick him up. Uh, so that was off of Sam Kuhnrad. It also was an absolute disaster last night, as we'll get into a little bit later. Then we pick it up here in the same inning. So here we go. Not only did we get absolutely bombed uh, by guys like Jack Peterson, uh, but so uh, just the walk to burn. We walked 10 last night. 10! We walked 10! 
I mean, how long do you let this happen? Uh, as uh, Wilmer Flores walks uh, with the bases loaded, Luis Gonzalez comes around to score. As it's now 9 nothing San Francisco. So here we go. Bring them all in. Now we pick it up here in the same inning. Jack Peterson walks with the bases loaded. Wade Jr. crosses the plate. As it's now 10 nothing Giants. Now we pick it up here in the same inning. Here we go again. Evan Longoria uh, walks with the bases loaded. Mike Krzyzewski comes around to score. 11 to nothing San Fran. I mean, we walked three straight guys in. Think about that. Three. And they did the same thing in Arizona. We did the same thing in Arizona. So think about that. Uh, I mean, th th this is a pitching staff that just, uh, I've never seen a team walk so many guys in all my life. It, this is just maddening. It's not fun to watch at all. Uh, this is just absolutely unacceptable. Uh, so now you pick it up here in the bottom of the th inning. Uh, Estrada singles on a ground ball, two center field. Wilmer Flores crosses the plate. It's now 12 0 Giants. Uh, so, I mean, this is just laughable, honestly. This is just laughable. I mean, nobody had a good night out of bullpen last night. Maybe Andrew Bellotti, Garrett Stubbs, a uh, position player on the mound in the bottom of the eighth inning. Uh, I mean, uh, Gibson was a disaster. Uh, Conrad was a disaster. Sanchez was a disaster. I mean, nobody had a good night last night out of his pitching staff, as I said, for, except for Bellotti and a position player. Uh, now we pick it up here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Andrew Knapp grounds out the second. Uh, Luis Gonzalez comes around to score. It's just now 13 nothing Giants. Uh, so, uh, I mean, I was in bed by this point. I mean, once I saw it was uh, 10 nothing, I'm like, oh, I'm not wasting my time sitting up and watching this. I mean, this is ridiculous. Uh, you know, I, it, this was maddening. It was absolutely maddening. Uh, so they have a commanding 13 to nothing lead. Now we pick it up here in the top of the ninth inning. Thankfully, we did avoid the shutout. Is it that big of a deal? Maybe this would have been more embarrassing if we just would have been shut out. As Al Bum singles on a ground ball to left field, Nick Mateson crosses the plate. As the Phillies get on the board, it's now a 13 to 1 ball game. As Al Bum actually had a pretty decent night last night, collecting two knocks. Uh, but other than that, uh, nobody really showed up. Bryce Harper wasn't there last night. Reese Hoskins. Of course, Nick Castellanos was back in the lineup last night. Nobody was stepping up and doing their job. And certainly the pitching staff wasn't, as that would be your final 13-1 San Fran as they take the first game of this three-game series. This Phillies team has certainly been struggling uh, the past week, right? Not the best week. I mean, of course, we lose two out of three in Arizona. Uh, we lose that final game against the Pirates on Sunday in a very flat fashion. Uh, and, and then we lose the first game of the series out there in San Francisco. So this is a team that uh, certainly has hasn't really been playing too well, that is for sure. Uh, so uh, Kyle Schorber out of the leadoff spot. He was performance last night as he goes down on strikes twice. Uh, so not much out of uh, Schorber. And uh, Nick Maytown later come in and uh, take over for him as he was able to score the only Phillies run of the ball game. Uh, the only Phillies run of the ball game collect a double. Uh, that was his second of the season. And uh, Reese Hoskins, uh, a single last night, not much out of him either. Alec Bone, two knocks last night. Of course, two singles, one of them being the RBI single to drive in the only Phillies run of the ball game. Uh, so it seemed like he was like the only guy in the lineup that actually uh, was somewhat productive. Uh, and uh, Bryce Harper, he was a performance last night. He put the ball in play. I'll say that. He put the ball in play, but uh, he didn't really do much. And uh, JT Muso also going hitless last night as well. Uh, so not much out of him. And Nick Castellanos back in the lineup after missing uh, all three games of the Arizona Diamondback Series with toe turf. Right? He, he was, he was uh, unavailable because of that, and that's a very, very painful thing. So uh, he's finally back last night. Down that he really did anything. Uh, and uh, Bryson Stott also collecting a single last night as well. Also going down on strikes. Uh, and uh, Gene Segura, his performance last night, also being able to draw a walk. Uh, and uh, Brandon Marsh, uh, he, had, he was red on in that Arizona Diamondback series, goes hit was last night. He also goes down and strikes twice. So he struck out nine times as a team. We only drew one walk last night. One walk, and it was by Gene Segura, a guy that very rarely ever has any uh, mark in the walk department, right? This is a guy that does not get on base a whole lot, you know, via walk, am I right? So Gene Segura, the last guy, you know, they come to mind when you think of a walk, right? As you go take a look at the horrendous pitching staff last night, uh, as we'll go through, I mean, uh, Kyle Gibson inning in two-thirds, five hits, seven runs, all seven were earned, four walks, and two strikeouts, as he only allows the one home run, that was the three-run shot of Jock Peterson, uh, that would uh, be the nail in the coffin of his start to make it seven to nothing at that point, a 4-4-8 ERA, now nine and six on the air, he deserved this L so bad. He deserved this L so bad. He was an absolute disaster. An absolute disaster. It's like this. This is when I think of Kyle Gibson. Like this. It's like up and down, up and down, up and down. Four walks. Four walks. Uh, so his stuff was just catching way too much of the plate, you know, half the time. And then the other half of the time, uh, he wasn't even getting near the plate. Uh, clearly with the four walks. 
Uh, so uh, he, he was just a disaster in the very short amount of uh, innings he was able to pitch last night. And uh, Sam Coon had two-thirds innings, two hits, four runs, all four earned, uh, and he also walks two. So think about that. I mean, he comes in with one out, uh, and he gets absolutely shelled. Now he gets absolutely shelled. So he didn't make it any better. Now he's 5 4 over here. Think of it. He came into this game uh, with, a, not, with, a, with a clean ERA, 0.00, and then he uh, leaves this game uh, and uh, was able to get him out of that second inning with a 5 4 ERA. Think about that for a second. That's just absolutely crazy. And uh, Chris Sanchez, 3 and 2 thirds, 3 hits, 1 run, run was earned, 4 walks, and 6 strikeouts. Not impressed with this at all. Uh, I, I, listen, I guess the 6 strikeouts, hey, that, that's pretty good. I mean, of course, in 3 and 2 thirds innings, that's, that's really good. Uh, but he walked four? I mean, you walked four? All these walks with the bases loaded? I mean, I, I'm not a fan of that. I don't dig that. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I just don't. Uh, I mean, I'm, that's very, very disappointing to me. Uh, and uh, Andrew Bellotti, a one, two, three, bottom of the seventh inning. It, it seemed unreal. It seemed like something uh, that was just unimaginable uh, in last night's game. So he actually was able to. The only one, two, three inning of last night's ball game for the Phils. Andrew Bellotti in the bottom of the seventh inning. Garrett Stubbs. An ending as he allows that RBI ground out to Andrew Knapp. Uh, so think about that. I mean, it was kind of weird, right? I mean, you got the current backup catcher for the Phils pitching to the former backup catcher for the Phils. Uh, I think the guy on the mound was far better than the guy at the plate. Am I right? I mean, uh, the switch there, Andrew Knapp, an absolute disaster in a Phillies uniform. Uh, this wasn't very good at all. Had a very good 2020 season in a short sample size, uh, but uh, he was not very good in 2021. Resulted in the Phillies ending their tenure with Andrew Knapp. Uh, and Garrett Stubbs has been a far better backup catcher than he has been. Uh, so no question about that. So he's reunited with his former manager, Gabe Kapler, uh, of course. Uh, so that would be your final. I hate losing to Kapler like this. I can't stand it. I mean, first of all, I don't like losing, period. I really don't like losing to Gabe Kapler. And Jack Fritz von der Paul brought up a great point. Uh, I can handle losing, but I mean, I, I'm just so tired of seeing all these walks. I mean, you walk 10, 10. I just hate walking people with the bases loaded. I can't stand it. It's one of my biggest pet peeves. Everybody knows that watches this video day in and day out knows how much I hate. That's one of my least favorite things. Uh, I hate walking guys in with the bases loaded, and we seem to do this all the time. It's like a regular thing with this team. It drives me crazy. So uh, I'm tired of these late night games. Of course, we got 940, 940, 940, and then 10-15. Uh, all games in this road trip. But luckily, the next two will be 4 of 5 and 4 of 5. So it will be much more manageable. Luckily, we'll be able to uh, watch the end of the game. Uh, so, uh, you know, I'm tired of this, and I'm also tired of the commissioner of Major League Baseball telling me that the game will grow by putting it on a platform that not everyone will have access to. Uh, you know, I'm really tired of that, too. I mean, uh, so that's a, that's a bold-faced lie. Uh, let's put it on a platform uh, that actually requires a subscription. If it's not included in your Comcast or Xfinity or Fi Verizon Fios, then, hey, uh, you won't be able to watch it. Uh, so I understand I'm not getting any logistics, but I believe you do have, uh, you know, Comcast, you know, Xfinity and all that. I mean, I think you do get the Apple TV in your, in your, uh, in your package, but it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. I mean, first of all, it's on Apple TV plus. They say Apple TV. It's Apple TV plus, uh, not just Apple TV. So it's, 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 it's an absolute joke. Uh, it's an absolute joke. Uh, so they, they don't they don't care about growing the game. If they cared about growing the game, they they stop playing an ad every time you'd watch a 10 second highlight. If they care about the game. They make the game e more easily accessible. They promote it more. Uh, they don't care about the game. Uh, they don't care about the game. So four or five, the first pitch this afternoon. Noah Syndergaard looking to bounce back. He wasn't very good on Sunday against the Pittsburgh Pirates uh, when we lost that game five to nothing. Uh, it's, uh, he has an eight and nine record this year with a three nine eight year rate going against uh, Junis. Four and four, the four of four year right. Uh, so that is pretty much it. I mean, hopefully we can bounce back and just get a win here. Uh, we, we really need it. Of course, uh, the Sunday uh, finale, Rangers Suarez would take the hill. We really need to come away with the W, right? I mean, I'm so tired of losing to this Giants team. I mean, if we can win the next two, that would just be incredible. I don't see that happening. I think we're just going to walk away with uh, a two and four road trip, which I'm not very happy about. Uh, but it is what it is. So, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Please share and keep the bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Check out the social media. Link in the description section at Philly Sassu with Media, Instagram, Instagram. Follow me on Twitter at PSU Media. Car text 267-225-3392. Email me, Philly Sassu Media at gmail.com. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Luke and I'll talk to you. Let's go, Phils. See you guys.